What's going on? One, two, Freddy's f***ing with you. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another night of nightmares. Oh, no. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock the door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. Three. Are you ready for A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2? Yeah. Freddy's Revenge? Another dance with Freddy tonight? Yeah. Guess I gotta be. What are you expecting from this? Some more weird blood scenes. Some more weird blood scenes? Yeah. yeah. Like a blood blender. Yeah, blood blender like Johnny Depp. Yeah. Met his fate. Yeah, it was pretty cool, so I might yeah. do it again. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll have to find out, all right? I guess so. Should we see what nightmares Freddy has in store for us now? I guess we don't have a choice. Well, let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, and more. The link is down below. Check it out. Let's watch A Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge. Got my pickles handy. I'm good to go. You want a spicy pickle? Mm -hmm. Sure. That street looked familiar. Let me guess. Birch Elm. Oak Elm street. street. Oak. Duh. Freaking Oak Street. Does he only do things on Elm Street? That's Robert England. Is it? That's Freddy before he's Freddy. <laughs> he probably just ripped one. He's trying to open the window. Yeah. Right? He's like, oh god. You hit those bumps on a bus. Their asses would be on the ceiling. <laughs> There's no way they'd be sitting in their seat still. <laughs> oh no. Freddy's pit of hell. not looking good for him. Whose dream was it? Mommy, why can't Jesse wake up like everybody else? <laughs> oh, honey, he's alright. Fu Manchu. <laughs> Cereal. Fu Manchu's. Oh. <laughs> Is he moving? Moving in or moving back? Moving back home because he kept having nightmares in college or something? Maybe he's just a hoarder. It could be. Angie, what are you up to? I'm trying to get the Fu Man fingers. And what's it make? No. <laughs> just Fu Man. Come on, Dad. You're not trying to fix something again. Nobody likes a smart ass, buddy boy. Look. Better than being a dumbass, as I always said. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Oh, who's Lisa? Who is Lisa? His girlfriend, duh. Don't you ever use a key? Why? Is that the house with the bars on it in the first one? It's Nancy's house. Did they just move in or something? <sighs> He's gonna have grass stains all over his ass. Okay, Come on. Assume the position. Are you gonna spank him? Push up position. Oh. Jeez. Just because you get spanked when I say assume the position doesn't mean everybody else does. <laughs> right. She wishes. Oh, the bars are still in the windows. Mm hmm. Mm 
put his jeans on to go downstairs? Jeans and tennis shoes to go downstairs to get something to drink in the middle of the night. He can tie his shoes. They're high tops. You don't have to tie them. It's fine. Don't say a thing. Just walk away. <laughs> Is he dreaming? Well, yeah. Freddy only comes in your dreams. Dad? Daddy can't help you now. I need you, Jesse. We got special work to do here. Oh no, he's recruiting? Ooh. You've got the body. I've got the brain. You think we should call a doctor? No. No, I'm fine. It's just a bad dream. He's recruiting now? Oh. What does he want Jesse to do? He wants him to be him or something. If you want to play with animals, Mr. Walsh, join the circus. <laughs> Somebody put the snake on him? Yeah. Well, she tried to get a base tan and it did not work. <laughs> Where are you going, Jess? Just out for a little while. I told you I want that room unpacked. Dan, I'm just going out no. for an hour or two. Upstairs. <sighs> Start throwing <laughs> drawers. How do you like that, man? Nancy Thompson, 1428 oh, no. Elm Street. That's right here. But that part of me that wants him forces me to. That's when I weaken. That's Johnny when I... Depp. Can you blame her? About the girl that used to live here? How she went crazy when she saw her boyfriend get murdered across the street. Super. It's about to get weird. Got right. his jeans and tennis shoes on again. We turned up the thermostat. I got a sweat suit on now. Hmm. I think I saw a Charles Wysocki painting on their wall. Uh -huh. Love Charles Wysocki. You like his puzzles. Mm hmm. His fingers. His Fu Man fingers? <laughs> yeah. Kill for me. Kind of like I was sleepwalking. Maybe you were having premonition or something, you know? Like, uh, like the guys who help police solve crimes and find missing people. They do that? Huh? There's people that do that. Any cute guys gonna do that? All of them. <laughs> Is your dad gonna be the DJ again? <laughs> <laughs> Last party I had, my dad insisted on playing Benny Goodman records all night. Who? <laughs> Benny Goodman. 
sing me a song of his. He's like a a jazz artist. Oh. Not really. So get your trumpet. Not really Play lyrics. Me a song. <laughs> you remember your dreams? Only the wet ones. No talking. <laughs> Schneider's got a stick up his ass today. Schneider's always got a stick up his ass. <laughs> Hello, dirt balls. Oops. Assume the position. <laughs> it is so hot in here. Uh, let me look at the thermostat. Tell Freddy to stop turning on the damn boiler. Sure. It's 97 degrees in here. Birds are gonna boil. <laughs> Get the shotgun. It's a rabid parakeet. Feed your birds, Mentos and Diet Coke. <laughs> it's that cheap seed you've been buying. Oh, please, can you? No, really it could be. It's got to be a rational explanation. I mean, animals just don't explode into flames for no reason. <laughs> That's right. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know damn well. Set it up, firecracker. What did you use firecrackers. You know what he did? He used a goddamn cherry bomb. Oh, stop. That's what he did. Look, you can't talk to me like that. Come back here, Jesse! You stop it, you're being ridiculous. That's Jesse! Stop it! You just accused your son of murdering birds. <laughs> Where's he going? I don't know, but he doesn't have shoes on this time. He's going to, like, Freddy's old hangouts or something. I don't know. Bet you'll beat his dad's DJing. I have a beer, please. I knew he's gonna see his coach there, or <laughs> PE teacher, or whatever. He's making him run laps. Finds him at the bar, makes him run laps <laughs> at the school. Or is he dreaming? He's dreaming, obviously. What's going on? One, two, Freddy's f***ing with you, right? Is his teacher in his dream with him, sleeping? Thank you, sir. May I have another? What? <laughs> no! No! Oops. Now we found him out on the highway wandering around. He was naked. I'd keep a short leash on him if I were you. Jesse, come here. Was that a dream? No. Well, I don't know. Who knows? What are you taking, son? Who are you getting it from? It's a fair question. Tell you what he needs. He needs a methadone clinic. <laughs> he's just determined that he's on drugs. Working late, some maniac came in and sliced him up like a kibasa. Packed him in the shower. He's got bloody footprints all, right, all over the place. I hope Dexter doesn't work for that police department. Yeah. Kill me. Is this like his kill outfit? Sailboat shirt in <laughs> uh, sailboats? I think so. Hard sailboats, jeans, no sh shoes.
Yeah, I'd close the door too. It's weird. You didn't know anything about the murder across the street? And the crazy girl that lived here that saw the whole thing? Yeah, but You I... mean you knew something about this and oh, you... come on, Cheryl. How do you think we got such a good deal here, huh? So it always starts. Starts with a good deal. And put it out with a towel? We smothered it. With a cotton towel. Always effective. When you plugged it? Nothing wrong with the house at all. Totally normal. Where's she taking him? No idea. Do you remember in the diary when Nancy said she kept finding herself in a boiler room? Oh. Fred Krueger worked here. Did Did you feel anything? What do you mean? I don't know. I thought you might be able to make a connection or something. Do do you feel anything? Uh Uh-uh. She's like determined to convince him that he's clairvoyant, right? <laughs> You're a psychic, Jesse. What's in there? Freddy's head. Freddy's head. <laughs> Mr. Rat's house. <laughs> No, don't mess with the little sister. What time is it? It's late. Don't mess with your sister. Good. You're looking better. (laughs) Thanks for faking it, Mom. You know, we can figure it out. We can figure it out together. There is nothing to figure out. He's gonna kill you later. Wanna shut up? Fine, I'll shut up. No problem. See you around, buddy. God damn. Benny Goodman. Is Dad DJing again? (laughs) Jesse? I'll be on a second. Can I please come in and talk to you? He's naked. Yeah! Oh, God. What's going on? Something real up. Jesse, what's wrong? He saw your belly button and was disgusted. (laughs) It started to happen again. I think you are seriously losing it, bro. Yeah. Something is trying to get inside my body. Yeah, and she's female and she's waiting for you in the cabana. And you want to sleep with me. Look, I don't care if you believe me or not. Hey! I feel a blender bed sort of situation happening with him. I don't care if you have to hit me over the head. Just don't let me leave. And Grady, don't fall asleep. Oh no, that's the kiss of death. Sweet dreams, pal. Oh no. He did not take him seriously. So is that like a pleather comforter? <laughs> it's not gonna breathe well. Gravy? What? It's starting to happen again! <laughs> More. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm sure no one's had to cover the window. I got blood 
on my hands. How's Jesse gonna stop Freddy? I don't think he is. I think Freddy's gonna consume him. What's going on? Be a mass murder in that pool. You created him. You can destroy him. Lisa, now open this door. He is living off of your fear. Jesse, fight him. I can't. Yes, you can. Fight him. He can't fight me. I'm here. No! No! Oh, grab the blade. Kill me, Lisa. Please kill me. <laughs> I love you, Lisa. <laughs> I don't know. a better aim. Does everybody see Freddy or is it Jesse? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Where'd he go? Back to hell. Where's she going? She's going back to the boiler room. Dogs are those. I can't even think of anything clever to call them. <laughs> She's crazy. What's she trying to do? your brain. Sure you are. He's in there, and I want him back. He'll die with both of us. She's gonna kiss him. He's melting. Is Jesse dead? 
looks a little toasty there. The power of love prevails? Now he's gonna kill her. <laughs> so is Jesse free? What's going on? I don't know. The power of love prevails! <laughs> <laughs> Jesse. Who's driving the bus? Freddy Krueger. Did you see him? No, but I'm just guessing. Am I going crazy or is this bus going too fast? It's going fine. No problem. No. This bus is going too fast. It's in his nightmare still. Driver, stop! I'm sorry. Jesse. It's okay. It's all over. Here we go again. Jesus. Oh boy, we never, these things never end. It goes from one nightmare right into the other. Yeah. So you think Jesse's lost? Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah, gone. for sure. He's got he's control like, of him forever? Yeah, he's like the one in the chick from the first movie. Nancy? Yeah, Nancy. Well, Nancy uh, seems to imply that Nancy survived. Didn't they say that she her went crazy page, and then her, her mom her killed mom herself killed? in the living room? Which is, I think, how they explained how she yeah. died. And then she probably went to live with her dad. Whatever. All Did not right. end well for Nancy. So what'd you think? It was very similar to the first. Mm -hmm. But different in that, I don't know. I mean, Nancy didn't do the killing in the first, so. Is this going to be a new way that Freddy takes over? Is he just consumes other people's bodies and makes them do hor horrible things? So uh, what was your favorite Freddy scene? I'm not sure, actually. Yeah. What was yours? Probably Grady's when he comes out of uh, Jesse to kill Grady. Oh, yeah? yeah. Births out of him, basically. Yeah, that like, was pretty weird. Yeah. Some pretty interesting special effects. Right? Mm -hmm. So you think everybody was seeing Freddy, or are they seeing Jesse? Yeah, I want to say they were seeing Freddy, because they didn't all just say, Hey, Jesse, it's okay, you know? It's weird, huh? Yeah. And then if it, they had seen Jesse, they would not have been okay with him just, like, Go back. hopping back on the bus. and like. But that was a dream. Right? Right. <laughs> right. What isn't a dream and what is real? That's the problem right. with this franchise is you never know. You never know. Everything is real. Everything is a dream. So where do, you, where do you think Freddy goes from here? More of the same. Tormenting people on Elm Street. Yeah. yeah. Just don't know why he's got such an affinity for that street. Well, I mean, I think that's where he kidnapped all the kids from, huh? Yeah, but, like, why did he do that either? What should people comment on? Favorite kill. Yeah. He doesn't really kill that many people. There's the the teacher mm -hmm. and Grady, and then I guess a couple pool guys. Right? Yeah, I guess that's right. He doesn't really kill that many people in this. Body count's still pretty low in this franchise because there's only like, I guess four if you count the mother in the first one. Yeah. Right? About I think four probably in this one too. Right? He hasn't caught up to. It's Jason, not like Friday the Thirteenth right? where he's just, just killing like, everybody. Yeah, everybody's dead, right? <laughs> Eight people, nine people, ten people. Yeah. Right? But uh, yeah, what? Or how does this stack up to the original? In my mind, it's about the same. I don't think is this one a is bit scarier to you, or because it felt like you weren't that afraid in the first one. And I don't really feel afraid in this one either. Okay. I don't know something about this franchise. It just doesn't. I think it's just almost so hoaxy that it doesn't feel yeah. scary. Which is weird because you hate nightmares. I do hate I nightmares. Yeah. But yeah, how does this stack up to you? Is this as good as the original or better? 
and uh, we got a couple more Freddy movies, and we'll talk about who's which one's your favorite as we go along. So let us know what was your favorite Freddy scene in Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. Yeah. All right. The bus scene in the beginning was pretty cool with the, the pillars falling away, and then Grady's kill, of course. Of course, whipping the PE teacher with the, the towels. Yeah. Right? And you like, she like the good booty shot there. So can't hate, can't Anything hate a nice else? ass. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, come hang out. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full and commentary, and more. Links down below. Until next time. Bye. Don't fall asleep. Oh. Bye.